Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And this is going to be take two of the uh, the Velma video. Yes, I did one without Neon, but the sound screwed up. And and I slapped her and said, "Woman, you have no place doing videos without me because yeah. it's all about me." Me, me, me. But no one believes that because they know if you had done that, you'd be <laughs> on the floor right now with your teeth knocked out. Anyway. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we're going to talk about this. Velma is harmful. Now, on top of everything else, on top of everything else, Velma doesn't have going for it. Now, Velma is harmful because they make a joke about sickle cell anemia. Yeah, let that sink in. They literally went there with this show. And the thing is, when you hear the joke, it's so lame. They make Fred, because you know, he's a toxic idiot, white guy, make the joke. And it doesn't even make sense. So we're gonna we're gonna play a clip of it. Uh, we're gonna talk about it, and yeah, it's not it's not sitting well with a lot of people. It's like every episode of this show uh, sinks lower and lower, and somehow they keep mentioning that it's like one of the top the most viewed shows on. Yeah, HBO because Max everybody somehow. can't believe it. They're actually going there, and that's about that much of a train wreck. They're waiting to see what they do next, like kick puppies or make fun of disabled children. Oh my god, <laughs> kick, kick. A pup or, named Scooby Doo until he's disabled. There you go. That's what we're gonna do. However, I do notice that they have that chick is Gigi because they have her in another in another place. Oh, it is yes, Gigi. Yes, okay. Yes. They gonna call her Scooby? I bet. I they don't call know. Her that's still up. That's still up for debate. Is go Shaggy ahead. gonna Shaggy gonna give her Scooby snacks, rubber belly? Oh, well, why is his name be Shaggy? Um, <laughs> I don't know. So we're gonna talk about this before we get into it. Any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views. And Rance, guys, uh, over 290, almost 291,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, we have been talking way too much about Velma, but it is a train wreck. We can't stop. You can't look away. I can't look away from this. Just you think it's over, then they do something else that's stupid. And you're like, what? It, just, it can't go any worse than it. It can't go any worse than it is. And then they prove that wrong. They're like, hold my beer. All right. So Velma angers viewers with harmful sickle cell joke. Let's play the clip and then we'll we'll talk about the media reaction to it. Of course they make it being f Fred because, Fred. you know, he's the out of touch, misogynistic, toxic white male. Yes, yes. So here we go. It's Velma from school. You cheat off me in Spanish because you think I'm Mexican. Maybe. I have a disease where I can't recognize people who aren't hot. My doctor says it's basically sickle cell for rich guys. Is it called rudeness? It is. You're like smart. Oh, wow. Thank you. What? Yeah, basically, basically he can't recognize people who aren't hot. And his doctor says it's basically like sickle cell anemia. That doesn't even make sense. So they have him make this comment that he can't recognize somebody unless they're hot. And their doctor says it's like basically like having sickle cell anemia. But it doesn't even make it doesn't even make sense. Like that has nothing to do. It's like they're like blowing it off like it's a big nothing. I then that, that's or it's the imaginary. It's imaginary. It's an imaginary disease. Right. Uh, so, yeah, the, the Internet won't have it. Um, here are some of the reactions. Well, here's the article, and then we'll talk about the reactions. Uh, Velma only debuted two weeks ago, and the updated Scooby-Doo tune is already facing criticism over a joke. Uh, Velma, when Velma Dinkle... Velma, Velma Dinkle! Dinkle. <laughs> when Velma Dinkle... Did they watch it? Oh. When Velma Dinkle, the main character in the adult animation series about the origins of the future member... What the hell? Member of Mystery Inc. encounters Fred. He makes an excuse for not having remembered her name. I have a disease where I can't recognize people who aren't hot. So this is in the first episode. Uh, my doctor says it's basically sickle cell for rich people. That doesn't even make sense. Is it called rudeness? Mindy Kaling quips. And Fred, voiced by... Yeah, we well, gotta name check everybody and make sure you can go cancel them. Then Fred, voiced by Glenn Howerton. Well, obviously has a tiny penis because that's the only way you can voice a character. Yeah, right. Um, what might have started out as a harmless joke turned out to show a lack of empathy, compassion, and knowledge for sickle cell disease. Hashtag one advocate <sighs> tweeted. I just, I just, it doesn't even make sense. Like, I'm trying to figure out how they, why they put those two together. It does, like, I can't recognize people. I have face blindness for people who aren't hot. And my doctor says it's like sickle cell for white people. That doesn't even, that's, I can't even comprehend Wouldn't it. Would it be like color sense. blindness? Like, hey, I'm like colorblind because you're not hot enough to be on my spectrum or something. I mean, uh, you know. That's a little funnier. It's not much funnier. <laughs> they should have should been like, Velma should be like, I'm sorry. Do I know you? I can't recognize. I can't recognize a white, white male because you all look the same to me. <laughs> God, sickle cell. Okay, so here we have uh, Meme J. Meme J or Memej. Uh, sickle cell isn't some punchline to put in an HBO Max show we are discriminated against in healthcare, which causes 
further harmed our physical and mental period. Health. Health. Uh, ignorant jokes is what makes it much harder for systemic changes to occur. Uh, at Mindy Kaling, here we go. She's getting, man, she's getting canceled all over the place. What might have started out as a harmless joke turned out to show a lack of empathy. It is a rare blood disorder affecting all races, predominantly African Americans. That's true. true. That is true. I learned about that in biology. I said I way back, way back years ago. Years ago. Uh, is this people not being taught what it is anymore? I don't know. This makes no sense, and to associate sickle cell to rudeness is extremely harmful. Yeah, because it's kind of like it's like it's it's like blowing it off. It's like well, like I mean, first of all, she didn't know what it was, and so he's like, it's like it's like you know, sickle cell for rich people, and Gosh. it's like it's making it like what some imaginary something. You know, it's really it's kind of shit. Quite frankly, God. Well, the whole show is kind of shit. Quite frankly, mm -hmm. yeah, it's like Velma Dinkle. Reps for HBO Max and Kaling did not immediately respond to Yahoo Entertainment's request for comment. You're not going to get a response. No, and the thing is, right now, like they're talking about it. I have it pulled up too. The it, the show is at forty two percent. But there's only three critics reviewed it. It's six percent stuff for audience. Which I don't understand how it's, uh, it hasn't gone below six percent. Because if you look at the current um, the reviews, they're shit. Like 10,000, 10,600. And that went up six or seven since I, I checked it last time. And most of the comments are like, what the hell is this? Well, maybe you can only buy so many positive reviews at a time. I don't know. Because I can't understand why it's still at 6%. It, it should be much lower at this point. Wow. Um, yeah. So they point out like how much of a failure the show is critically. Uh, they said Rotten Tomatoes has got a 43%. A 6% audience score. Ratings have been better. The rap reported on January 25th, the show had seen a 127% increase in demand in the previous week, making it overall the second most in demand freshman show of the week. Supposedly, maybe you have to take their word for it. Not many people were actually watching it because they're like, what the hell? This can't be true. Like, there's no way that's true. All right, so this is another this is another mm -hmm. uh, article coming out today from Ronaldo. Yeah, loves yes, us. yes. Don't you know? Um, CBR. It's a problem that you have to take on toxic masculinity <laughs> because you know all men are toxic. I I, I want to argue that there's a lot of toxic feminism involved in this show, uh, where all men are bad and stupid. But we're not going to address that. Apparently, it's only toxic masculinity. So Ronaldo is uh, is uh, criticizing this diverse show. He must be alt right. Clearly. Clearly. But basically what they're talking about is they're talking about has a major flaw regarding another disgusting stigma. This whole show is disgusting stigmas. That's what the show is. It's all about stereotypes. They're like, oh, it's been divisive and all that other stuff. And they're talking about the show, the, a lot of contention would be derived from the series lashing out at toxic masculinity. No, the show's lashing out at this, this stereotype of toxic masculinity. You made Fred, you left him be the only one who wasn't race bent. And then you make him like a complete fucking idiot at asshat. Like, you know, I mean, there's toxic masculinity and then there's whatever they're doing here. And not only that, but we have to make sure everybody knows he has a tiny penis and he's too stupid to cut meat. I'm like, you know, because he's, he's obviously disabled or stunted in some way. So it's okay to make fun of you if you're, you know, if you have a tiny penis or you're somehow disabled or stunted. As long as you're involving the men. And they're talking about how... There's a lot of uh, a toxic men, you know, her, Fred's father, William, Velma's neglectful father, creepy guys in town, further proof of toxic masculinity passed down through generations. What that, wait, that, of all, okay, so of all the stuff to complain about with Velma, that is your takeaway. You know, when we did our genetic, genetics, you remember when you were a kid, you do like the little blocks and you do the genetic stuff. Yeah. And you say, if you have a parent with blue eyes and you have a parent with green eyes, well, um, you know, what are the odds of kids getting blue eyes or green eyes? Right. That, I, I, I must have missed that day when you were doing the chart on toxic masculinity and not toxic masculinity. What are the odds of your boy child being toxic or not? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a disease that affects mostly white males. And, it, and, it, and, and <laughs> mo uh, yeah, I know. And it, it went away for years, but suddenly returned just a few years ago for no reason. Oh, maybe it's Pfizer's fault. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm not going to say there aren't toxic people out there, but it's not just a male uh, thing. There's a lot of women who are just as toxic in other ways. Toxicity is a shitty thing and it's out there and there are men that are toxic and there are men that are misogynist, but the majority of them are not. Not liking the show you like does not make someone a misogynist. Thinking race sucks ass does not make you a misogynist. I mean, I'm tired of hearing this. It's just, this show's just such a waste of space. 
time, money, effort, what the hell? And again, the only thing I can think, the only reason that this, this went through was because she had this ironclad contract. They had a contract. We'll, we'll get this. You didn't hear the rest of it. Oh. It's only Fred, though. And, the, and because um, Shaggy is, yes. a, is a good friend. Because he illustrates how to remove the blinders and adjust the male gaze in town where women are mistreated, disrespected, and not murdered. Because, you know, he's not white. He's also a simp, according to this article. Oh, his simping. Yeah, see. See. Anyway. Well, I told you, this, this disease, this horrible disease of to toxic masculinity, disproportionately affects white males. It's just... <laughs> yeah, right. It's just it's just the whole thing. Like it's all one giant stereotype. It's all one giant stigma. And if there weren't already stigmas and stereotypes in place, they made up new ones. God, this is yeah, that's a poor Shaggy. Poor Shaggy. He's yeah, not like, even shaggy. Like, Something's being tossed around a lot, berating it, guys. So wait, when it's Fred, it's okay to say that they're toxic pieces of shit. But when it's Shaggy, it's a double standard and it's unfair. Um, Breaking guys who are genuine, selfless, caring, and honest with women. Okay, so this, uh, look, I, I have a theory again, because I know how Valnet sites uh, tend to work. And uh, they just, uh, by the way, Valnet, speaking of Valnet, Screen Rant just got rid of their comics people, because I guess comics aren't worth covering anymore. Yeah. I don't know. Right. Uh, don't come work for us, because, you know, whatever, it probably gets into a lawsuit or something. But but uh, yeah, so the headline for this, look at this, look at this. Uh, we can't see the uh, URL, but it's Velma Toxic Masculinity Simping, because those mm -hmm. are all things people are going to be searching for. Velma handles toxic masculinity, but botches another problematic trope. These are all things that Google News eats up. Mm -hmm. These are all buzzwords. That's mm -hmm. that's how. So I think what they do, honest to God, because I know there are programs out there that do it, I think they come up with the headline first, and then they write an article to fit the headline because the headline is going to get traction. Right. The Velma toxic masculinity simping, and then, oh, yes. it's going to make a headline yes. to match it. Now I'm going to write a story about it. Yep. But, I mean, but all this aside, we'll go back to the main point. So they're talking about all this stuff in Shaggy. It's this, you know, kinder, gentler male or whatever. No. But at the end of the day, it doesn't change the fact that besides the fact that, they're, that they're, they're stereotyping everyone and they're putting stigmas on stuff, now they're kind of stigmatizing and mocking sickle cell anemia yes. by making it being, oh, it's basically the same thing as, you know, rudeness. I'm like, that, I don't even know how you got that. But I'm like, so you're just dismissing it. Um... Either as being like, you know, oh, it's like, you know, sickle cell for white people, like it's imaginary. <laughs> or it's a, it's another it's a replacement for rudeness. So I can kind of understand why people are upset. Normally I'm like, you know what, everybody makes fun of everybody else's comedy used to be. But in this case, I mean, I get why people are a little upset. Because it's basically like, you know, they are kind of like mocking or making fun of them. In a, you know what I mean? Or dismissing it. Yeah, it's 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 very dismissive. Um, I just think that of all the stuff, like one, it took this is the, from the first episode. It took this long for people to get outraged, so people are hate watching it. Or somebody probably, probably like one person watched it that had sickle cells. Like, holy shit, did they and actually then, go well, there? And then they also said for white people, like sickle cell for white people. First of all, sickle cell is not just only African American people. No, by the way. it statistically but, is but higher. It is much higher. You know. Um, but it, they even like this person even said it's 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 more it's disproportionately impacts the black people, but it's it's a different races have it as well. Yes. It's just higher numbers in African American people. So you're just basically equating this, you know, I mean, there's just so much wrong with this. That's like saying, you know, um, I have ep epilepsy. It's like, you know, gender swapping for stupid people or something like that makes no sense, you know? <laughs> you know? Why? You know what I'm saying? Well, that's what I'm saying when you're this. That should be on a bumper sticker. You know, just... You know. you know what I mean? It's like, insert uh, whatever stupidity here, you so, know? So now I'm having flashbacks to different strokes where... I think it was Pearl, the housekeeper, had epilepsy, and she was talking about all the jokes that the kids would make, and they were like, here, hold my milk. Did you make it shake? Ha, ha, ha. Oh, well, see. Like, very special episode of... I know, like, they used to make comments to my my aunt and to my grandma, because they both had seizures, too. And I had epilepsy when I was a kid. That's why I said it. But, like, um, they would have seizures, um, and they would be, like, throw a fit for us, or they would make comments about you know they have some kind of their special needs or something like that you know to you know to them because they had seizures and they didn't understand it so i mean i wasn't making light of it i myself had seizures and had epilepsy um but i was just using an example like you know it was if somebody 
You just you gotta insert anything other disease in there and be like, well, that's whatever for you know white rich people. You know, it's like what? <laughs> what? I cannot wait until this season's over because I'm sure there are gonna be many, 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 many articles like that, like. Warner Brothers, was this a good idea to tie Scooby Doo of all your your stuff, your family friendly franchise? Was this a really good idea? Well, people bring up point. Who let this through? Like, no one's checking. Clearly, go no. do whatever you want. They're not even checking it. They how told many, her as much. We did a video on right. it. They basically said, "Hey guys, do what you want. Whatever." We how many it. shows out? I mean, I'll give them this much, but you know, other shows out there wouldn't have let that through. You know, you can get away with it on something like Family Guy or whatever. Cause no, but this doesn't even make sense. No, well, most of Family Guy doesn't either. But um, something, 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 pop culture reference cut away to a scene of Peter were in drag or something. Then we cut back to the show. Musical number. Um, but, like, you can get away because that is the, the brand, right? I think what, what's taking people aback is this is Scooby F and Do. And That's no name. <laughs> that is going to be his name. Scooby F and Do. Uh, yeah, so this is Scooby F and Do, and <laughs> he's related to Scrappy, right? Scrappy F and Do. I'm sorry, I just had flashbacks to when I was in France and I watched Scooby Doo in France, and the voice actor for Scooby Doo was really funny because the voice was like, Scooby Doo, and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> you know? Sorry, that's another hint or there. Lay ro ro. Yeah, I don't speak for you, speak French. Not very well, so uh, I, I, I obviously don't. Um, no, but like I think that's what what's shocking people is like, like this is what you let them do to Scooby Doo. What the hell is wrong with you? That rhymes. Yeah, Scooby Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. What the fuck's what's wrong, wrong with, with you? you? <laughs> Making jokes about sickle cell anemia. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's what's getting people. I think that's what's tripping people up. And, and, and then like associate it with rudeness. Like you're not even. Like, <laughs> what the hell? Well, I I don't know. Good luck with it. Good luck with this. You you wanted it. You 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 put this out there, and again, just based on the conversation that she had with whatever outlet, the way that this thing got greenlit, it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll let you know if it's uh, if it's going too far, and nobody ever got back to them about anything. So I don't think anybody was paying any attention. Or they're going for the Netflix factor. With we don't care if it, people are outraged; they're watching it. Yeah, yeah. That's at the end of the day, it's eyeballs. We don't care if you piss everybody off. We don't. We only care about diversity, inclusion, and all that shit when we can say it out loud to make sure we get you know high fives and, and upvotes. But when it push comes to shove, we really don't give a fuck as long as you watch the show. That's right. So and people are watching it. They're hate watching it, but they're watching it. So we're gonna wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.